Age of Empires 2 HD, doing the William Wallace learning campaign, just going through the uh, first several missions just to cover it for anybody who might be interested. And then eventually, when you get to the actual challenging parts, uh, doing an army walkers. marches on its stomach, or so the old saying goes. My clansmen have been farming and tending sheep for hundreds of years, but Gathering enough food to feed an army is a different matter entirely. Without a strong economy, the meager forces that we've cobbled together will collapse again. Right. To support the Scottish army, you'll need to See build up your stockpile oh. of resources. Start to win, here. gather 50 food, 50 wood, and 50 gold. To gather food from the forage bush, click a villager. Okay. Then right click a forage bush near the blue flag. Here they go. In the status area at the bottom of the screen, you can see how much food the villager is carrying. The villager continues to gather from the forage bush until he's carrying 10 food. It's interesting, like, uh, I don't know. I don't the villager think. will continue working for you, carrying the food to the town center. The amount of food you have is shown in the upper left corner of the screen. In addition to your food stockpile, you can see your current wood, gold, and stone stockpiles. The more villagers you have, the faster you can gather resources. Assign your new villagers to gather food. Alright, so basically we're just going to do this. Um, I was saying actually a second ago, before um, I wanted to stop not to interrupt him, but um, I had almost forgotten that in the old Age of Empires your villagers actually had to run back to your town center with food, because um, they had been doing the Age of Empires 3 walkthroughs, and uh, in there they don't have to do that kind of stuff. It just uh, automatically goes into your bank or whatever, into your resource Three. pool. You now have 50 food. To win, also gather 50 wood and 50 gold. To gather wood, click a villager, then right click a tree. It's not worth trying to bother building more villagers, um, although you totally could. Um, considering there really isn't anything in this mission beyond just harvesting the resources, uh, you're going to do it faster by just, you know. If you haven't Using found any gold, yet, given. search in the unexplored territory. Good job. You now have enough wood. Good. You found some gold. I like how they tell you to explore, and it's like uh, you can just see it right there. Forgera. <laughs> Forgera. Forgera. Wonder how much stuff is out here. I think we're just surrounded by trees. I'm gonna try to open it up in the editor earlier, but doesn't seem to be anything uh, <laughs> interesting to find. fear. You're well on your way to making a city. Excellent! You now have enough gold. Edward Longshanks, for all his disrepute, has shown military tactics in Wales, England, and France to be very effective. If not cruel and ruthless, he's indeed an enemy to be feared. The English sacked the town of Berwick upon Tweed. Would that I could call it a battle! But it was truly more of a massacre. Unless we organize our army, there will be more massacres to follow. I pray we can be ready for Long Shanks coming. All right, so that's a wrap for number two.